So now let's look at an example of AWS code build. So I'm inside my AWS management console. I am logged in as an administrator or using my administrator account. You can go to code build and it will bring you to this page. So before that, what we need is we need to create a S3 bucket that will store the output of our build. So in Java, usually the output is in form of a jar file or a war file. So if you are using PHP, then it may be a different output or if you are using Node.js, then you may uh, get a different output that you want to store it somewhere. So for that, we will use S3 bucket. So the output will be stored in an S3 bucket. So for that, I'm going to go to S3 and I already have one bucket created, but I'm going to delete this and we'll just recreate one. So I'm going to delete this bucket. So now over here, we're going to click on create bucket and type in your bucket name. So this will be the bucket that will store the output of your build and select the region i'm in north virginia region so i'm going to select that and then just click on create so all you need to do is create a bucket over here so it's an empty bucket so now i'm going to go back to code build one more thing before that is in code commit inside our repositories in the spring boot hello there is a file called buildspack.yaml and that's an important file and this file will be utilized by code build to run the commands to build the um, build our project because code build doesn't know what to do with our project we have to tell code build what commands to use to build the project so in this case um, in the post build or you could have put it in the build we want to run a command called maven package so this will actually build the project and create the output uh, jar file and also you want to run uh, some unit tests so you can do that as well in your code build uh, build so we are doing those two things and the artifact file so where would you find the output file so it will be in the target folder and this is the file name so that's your artifact section so we have this different phases like build post build and then you have the artifact and this is their output file so the code build will run this commands and then move this output file that will be generated to S3 bucket that we just created. So let's see how to do that. So again, I'm going to go back to the console and go to code build and create a build project. Project name would be spring boot. Hello, the same name that we provided in code commit. You can provide a description and then the source so our source is in this case aws code commit repository so i'm going to select our repository and there are other different options available like s3 github bitbucket github enterprise um, but keep in mind there is no private repository available so you cannot create your or you cannot use your own private repository it has to be one of these what you could do is uh, move your private repository code to s3 whenever you want to do a build and then select uh, s3 from over here but you cannot use a private repository as the source so only these five options are available at the moment so i'm going to select my repository and do you want to manage the image or a custom image to run your um, code build on so we're going to use manage the image and then it's a u we're going to select ubuntu we're not going to select windows to build and then the um, runtime would be Java and depending on your runtime, you can select the whichever you want and then select the runtime version. We're going to select open JDK eight and the service role. So we're going to create a new service role or let code build create a new service role for us and code build will use this role uh, to um, get permissions to interact with different resources that code build needs to interact with. So that's done. And then the build spec file. So use a build spec file. So code build will look for that build spec.yaml file in the root of the project. You can uh, insert your own custom commands over here, but we're going to just use the build spec 
file which we are going to provide to code build and not uh, create our custom commands over here so, so that's an important thing and then the artifact so um, your project may not have an artifact but in this case we are going to produce a jar file so we're going to select s3 and here we're going to select the actual bucket that we had created so this is the bucket so um, the output would be produced in this bucket and then if you want to have some additional customization like rename the out, out, output jar file and things like that we're going to leave everything as default we don't want zip packaging we'll just go with none um, the default packaging which is jar in our case and then click on create build project so this will uh, create a code build project. So now the creation is completed. It will take us to this page or you could just go back out and come back here and then click on your project name that you had given and then click on start build. So again, if you want to provide some time out like you how long your build should run and when do you want it to time out so it's one hour by default i'm going to leave it as default and just click on start build so so you can see your different st statuses over here it's now it's in progress and then it runs different phases which we'll discuss later in detail so right now it's downloading source So now it's post build, so the build was completed. So I mean, you can see the output over here. If you scroll down, there are build logs and all the Maven artifacts being downloaded. So there are, if there are any errors in your build logs, you will be able to see it over here. And it completed the build and upload artifacts was also successful. I'm going to go back up and you can see the status over here is succeeded and the phase is completed so we can view the artifact by clicking on this view artifacts button and let's go back and then it will inside our s3 folder it will create this or s3 bucket it will create the folder and the target and here is our artifact the output jar file that was produced by cold build so in this video we saw how to set up a code build project we had a brief introduction to what is a build spec file and how to utilize that and then we also saw how to produce the output and how to view the artifact and we also saw the different sources of your project it could be a code commit project or you could upload your code to s3 in a zip format or you could use your GitHub repo, or you could use Enterprise Git or Bitbucket, but you cannot use your custom repository as an input for code build. So uh, we'll continue with code build in detail in the further videos, but I wanted to give you a good high level overview of how code build works in this video.